So welcome Manvender, how are you? Today we are going to uh, complete this electronic device portion two. Hello Meghna, welcome everyone. So I hope you guys are doing well. In this particular session, basically we'll cover about transistor. In the first session of electronic device, I've taken logic gate portion. Now we are going to discuss about transistor portion, like a uh, different different operation of working mode of transistor, right? And how they works, how to obtain voltage and all, right? So Bhanushree, welcome to the session. So uh, let's start now. This is the question. Yeah, hello Aditi. Question is the input signal given to CE amplifier. CE amplifier means common emitter amplifier. Yeah. Yes, very easy. Shishir, it's very easy. If you know now concept and things become very easy. So CE amplifier having a voltage gain 150. So we know that a uh, voltage gain or current gain. There are two types of gain voltage or current. So if we are writing in terms of voltage, so it becomes voltage gain. And if we are writing expression in terms of current, it becomes current gain. So voltage gain, I must say voltage gain. Denoted by A capital A small v, A V is equal to V output by V input. We call this as voltage gain. Input voltage is given, right? So input voltage is given that is equal to 2 cos 15 T plus pi by 3. Okay. Input voltage is given. The corresponding output signal will be. So it's very simple question. Why? Because C we have to obtain output voltage voltage gain the value of voltage gain is 150 given so correspondingly if you see this formula av the value of av is 150 so can i say 150 is equal to v output by v input input is given we have to obtain output so simply formula based uh, portion so i'm solving this i'm writing here we know av is equal to v output by v input the value of av is 150 is equal to we want to obtain output upon input is given 2 cos 15 t plus pi by 3 right but there is a small twist yeah megna is the correct answer but a small twist and what is that twist twist is this configuration is ce configuration and we know that when you see its derivation portion in ce configuration input and output is having 180 phase shift and what is that thing so dhana welcome it is like if we have input if we have input so corresponding output will be just 180 degree phase shift so it is like this way clearly what we can see here so this portion this if this is positive so this is negative so 180 degree phase shift right now so in that case here output expression if we take output now so in output we have to add plus pi because in output we have to provide 180 degree phase shift so plus pi so finally we'll get output as equal to 150 multiplied by 2 cos 15 t plus pi by 3 plus pi so this is 300 cos 15t plus pi by 3 plus pi is 4 pi by 3. So A is the correct answer. Yes. So 4 pi by 3. Uh, yes. So I hope you guys are clear with why we have added plus pi. Because this is the expression of output. And what is the expression of input? Input is like, uh, input is 2. This is the input. 2 cos. 15 t plus pi by 3 so clearly what we can see that input and output if we differentiate phase now so phase difference must be equal to pi that's why a is a correct answer for this question not b i hope this question is clear to everyone 
yeah thank you very much all rounder boy what's your real name okay so is it clear everyone now let's move on to next question here and guys i must say this type of question is most important like i must say vvi very very important for your neat examination such type of question has been asked four or five times repeatedly i don't know why because the concept is very easy and what is that concept simple gain formula i'm going to explain don't worry so whenever you are seeing such type of amplified circuit and all okay so dhana is having answer like a okay with b you are seeing now so we'll check that your answer don't worry first try to understand the question so whenever you are getting such type of question write all the given parameters so i'm going to write all the given parameters so in a ce configuration transistor amplifier so ce configuration okay the audio signal voltage across the collector resistance of 2 kilo ohm so we can say that the value of rc rc means what collector resistance it is 2 kilo ohm okay we'll check answer i'm not sure about uh, keshav and dhana about b i'm going to solve let's see what is the correct answer okay 2 volt guys this 2 volt is output across output across collector output across collector so i must say this is vc or you can say output voltage that is 2 volt now if base resistance so rb is also given rb is given as 1 kilo ohm okay now megna is d so keshav b bhanu is c so you guys are giving different different a b c d all the options right let's check rb is 1 kilo ohm the current amplification of the transistor is 100 so guys sometime it is very confusing it is alpha or beta so this is current amplification common emitter so this is the value of beta always remember whenever we are dealing with common emitter right now so this is beta is equal to 100 whenever we are dealing with common emitter current amplification factor will be beta and its value is see 100 it is given in question 100 the input signal voltage is okay so again i am reminding you formula for voltage gain and what is that formula av we know this is equal to v output by v input no 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 need to apply that current gain formula megna and everywhere i'm just telling you formula because here we have to obtain input signal voltage we have to obtain voltage so we know voltage gain is v output upon v input and that must be equal to beta times output resistance by input resistance this is a formula that you need to remember once again in the previous numerical already we have applied voltage gain is v output upon v input is equal to beta times r not upon ri what is r not R not is output resistance uh, and this is input resistance. In this particular configuration, common emitter. I'm just making a diagram. It will be more clear if I draw its diagram. Don't need to show this diagram. This diagram is just to understand this thing properly. Okay, so this is RC and this is RB. So clearly we can say that in this particular question, in this particular question, this is output resistance RO. and this is input resistance ri now putting all these value you will get result for example here see v output is 2 volt by v input is equal to 100 into r c is 2 kilo ohm that is 10 to the power 3 upon ri this is ri na base resistance is equivalent to ri so 1 kilo ohm that is 10 to the power 3 so solving this guys tell me final answer of v input i'm giving you one minute time quickly solve this and tell me final answer so megna is getting 10 milli volt what about others check your answer and let me know d what about others megna is again repeating her answer she is saying d what about others quickly respond so by solving this you will get 10 milli volt yes d is a correct answer 10 milli volt is a correct answer so d not a b and c so this is a way how you guys can solve so ultimate thing is what is the main thing so you need to remember this formula very important formula 
sometime sometime in numerical portion instead of beta alpha is given so what you have to do you have to convert alpha in terms of beta and then apply this formula sometime question is like beta given ri given v output and v input given you have to obtain output resistance so very a huge application of this formula so very important formula you guys need to remember memorize this formula now let's uh, move on to next portion and i hope i'm hoping that this portion is clear to everyone uh which thing you are not getting this is a simple formula see here voltage gain is equal to v output on v input is equal to beta times r not by ri everything is given in question put all these value you will get desired value in this question we have to obtain v input everything is given putting all these value we can obtain v input simple thing now in this particular uh, question it is given that transfer characteristic output voltage as versus input voltage okay this is already given for a base biased transistor in c configuration is as shown in the figure okay for using transistor as a switch it is used so this is factual question right and you must have learned this type of graph in your theory whenever transistor is acting like a switch we have a proper configuration whenever transistor is acting like an amplifier we have a proper configuration so by seeing this diagram we can say that this one portion and third portion is behaving like a switch why input less output is high here output less input is high right now so one and three is behaving like a reason where transistor will act like a switch what about third second one guys what about second reason what we call second reason second reason is active we use second mode yes second as amplifier whenever we want to draw and whenever we want to make amplifier now so we'll use second configuration only second reason only and for switch first reason and third reason so the correct answer for this question is option number b both reason one and reason three in this particular portion we can draw we can make switch and for second reason we'll make amplifier so this reason is corresponding to amplifier reason no not third second one make now second one second one is for amplifier first and third for switch so i hope this thing is clear to everyone now let's move on to next segment okay again this is a theoretical question and i'm going to explain one by one so now tirth is very fast answering this question let's see in forward biasing of pn junction We'll cover statement one by one first statement the positive terminal of the battery is connected to p side and depletion depletion reason becomes thin first statement is correct or not guys please respond first is correct or not a, a is correct the positive terminal of the battery is connected to p side and depletion reason become thin so you guys are saying a okay let's check correct let's check i'm just giving you idea not sure okay now you guys will realize this concept here holes this is p side and this is n side holes electrons if i'm connecting p with positive and n with negative okay so th this is a configuration now see guys here here positive why positive because of the positive terminal of this plate and this is negative okay sandhya will check your answer for sure this is negative now tell me what is the tendency of negative charge negative charge will attract electrons so we can say that electron will move towards right and sorry negative charge will repel now sorry negative charge will repel so electron will move towards this reason okay and this positive charge will have tendency to force electron towards barrier so like this so what we can say that in case of forward bias 
depletion region width will decrease and it will become more thin is it clear so statement number one positive terminal of the battery is connected to p side and depletion region becomes thin is correct option okay how about the second one Barrier height increased. Okay. The positive terminal of the battery is connected to P side and depletion region becomes thick. Electronic configuration. Abhishek, this is simple. Nishant, you guys are not getting here. Simple language. Even no need to just show that barrier height and all. That will decrease now. If forward bias, forward bias, it is decreasing now. In reverse bias, it is increasing. Okay. Right. How about question number two? Sorry, option number two. Positive terminal of the battery is connected to P side and depletion region become thick. No, no, no. This cannot be the correct answer. How about C option? The positive terminal of the battery is connected to N site and depletion region become thin. No, no. Again, this is what? C option. Positive terminal of the battery is connected to N side. So this is again wrong. Yes. How about D? Positive terminal of the battery is connected to N side and depression has become thick. So again, this is wrong. So correct answer is option number A. Nishant is saying, sir, what about drift current and diffusion current in forward? Uh, diffusion current and drift current is different mechanism, Nishant. If we talk about diffusion current now, so what happens? This is nothing with no need to explain that diffusion or drift in terms of forward or reverse bias. That phenomena is different. Okay. And what is that thing? Okay. Why B is wrong? Okay. Once again, positive terminal of the battery is connected to P side and depression region becomes thick. No, no. It will become thin. Why? Because holes and electrons are coming closer in forward bias. If it is reverse bias, if question is reverse bias, in that case, option number B is correct. I hope this thing is clear to everyone. Okay. Is it clear? Please respond. Yeah. So if reverse bias, then option number B is correct. In question forward bias, that's why A is correct. Okay. So I hope you guys are able to understand this thing properly. And that's all for today's session. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Take care. Keep studying. Bye-bye, everyone.